And so I always went to my old reliable Sumner Murray. I um I texted him immediately and I was like, hey bro, we have a opportunity to work with Z, but I don't have a beat. And he's like, I got you. And so he sends me this beat, and the beat is named Villain. Millio, what up? Guess we just some villains. I said, guess we be some villains. Cause we speaking on the real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess we just some. So October 2nd, 2020, my title track villain is finally dropping. And it's very important because you can actually pre-save the whole project. And the reason that that's important is because now when the project comes out, you'll get a reminder immediately. We, it'll be already saved into your Spotify playlist. So I'm just really excited for people to be able to hear this. So this song is very crazy because in order to explain how it was made, I have to explain how the whole project came to creation. So basically, I remember getting off work one night and I it was like 4 a.m. And I'd seen a post from Z and I was like, I really would like to collab with him. It would be so cool. And so I started typing out this message like, hey, bro, I love your stuff. I want to hear I want to make a song with you. Da 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 da. And um, God just really convicted me to like delete the message. And I have no idea why, but I cleaned the message out. I deleted it. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to fanboy him or nothing. I'm just going to go to bed. So I went to bed and I literally woke up the next morning to a DM from Z saying, hey, bro, I love your stuff. Let's make some music. And I was like, whoa, so now, like, what are the odds of that happening? It just doesn't make sense other than God. So I was like, thank you, Jesus, but now I need a beat. And so I always went to my old reliable Sumner Murray. I, um, I texted him immediately, and I was like, hey, bro, we have an opportunity to work with Z, but I don't have a beat. And he's like, I got you. And so he sends me this beat, and the beat is named Villain. I had no ideas for it yet, so I just sent it over to Z, and I was like, if you can do something on this, go ahead. He sends back a verse because of the name Villain. He wrote it about being a, a you know, an enemy to the world. And um, when I heard it, I was like, yo, this song is so fire. Like, he just murdered his verse. And there was no way that I wasn't going to, like, make a song and put this on the EP. And so um, I texted my manager and I sent it to him. And I was like, yo, AJ, check this out. Let me know, like, where we should go from here. And he sent it back and he was like, listen, bro, you have to kill it. Because Z went in so hard that we cannot disrespect his verse by not coming in hard and making a dope track. So then the next month, I'm over in um, Newark. I'm going to see my friend Levante. And Levante hears the track and just starts humming the melody and starts singing villain. And so we make the song about, you know, being an enemy to the world and a friend to God, being a villain to culture. And um, yeah, when we did that, I was sitting on that tr song for like two weeks. And then um, I just thought about it. I'm like, what if we just made the project villain? And it literally, that song changed everything. I texted my manager, AJ, and I was like, yo, what if we just named the project villain? And then we got to thinking about it, and it just all came together. Um, Habit, uh, Millie the Villy, all these songs just made sense. And um, so all of a sudden, the project just was like glued together by this one song. And so it's really cool like to hear how this story came together. It really wasn't even like my idea, just kind of... God just put it in my lap and it was just very, very, very fire. Yes, we just some villains. I said, guess we be some villains. Cause we speaking on 